Hey guys, what's going on? Shitty here. And first, I want to say that I'm very, very excited that the, the the little clip I put in th at the end of my video yesterday was not raged out by YouTube saying match third, match p third, pretty content. So I'm excited that I'll get to use that for a little bit on the end of my videos because that's a pretty sweet little clip from the Fucker Three Teaser trailer. But also, I want to say is sadly this is the last Battlefield gameplay I have on my computer. Now, even more sadly, this gameplay is a loss. Yes, a loss. Operation Metro Conquest. Now, um, sadly, uh, we all, if you've played Battlefield Conquest enough, or at least on Metro, you should know by now that if you're on the side I'm on right now, I think this is the Russian side. I'm pretty sure this is the Russian side, but if you're on the Russian side, unless your team is very, very well managed and or placed, uh, you're gonna get wrecked, all right. You you just can't th somehow just being in this area makes it so much harder to win. Like I don't know how it's possible, but it somehow it just makes it um it just makes it hard. Maybe it's because of how the flags are set up, but that outdoor f maybe it's because of what the B flag is in, in relation to the C flag and the A flag. But um it's just a mess, all right. And whenever you're on the Russian spawn with a flag that's outside. Uh, you're gonna get wrecked. All right, it doesn't matter what's going on. You're gonna get you're gonna get mowed down, and it's not gonna end well for you. So, you know, you just wanna just come to peace with that and just know that it's gonna be a rough game. But it with that, it does give you the opportunity to get a lot of kills. Now, I'm sure you're fully aware that I haven't been playing much Battlefield lately. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty because it's been fun, more fun. I think I've been having the most fun in Search and Destroy and with friends and just just having a, a blast than I've had in a long time and was that a triple kill I think so but um now it's just been a lot of fun so uh, I'm, 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 I'm really just enjoying that and having a blast with that you know not really worried about you know any specific sort of content you know, you know it's just just whenever you want to play the game you play it and you have fun doing it you know that's what I that's what I'm trying to stress here here on this channel and how I do things so and we're going to continue to stress this, but we do hop on the flag here and get the... I think the only reason why I ended up playing Conquest on this game is because I was going for the PP-19. Um, I had to get like two more flag captures in Conquest, so that's the only reason why we were playing Conquest and not Rush. But, oh, we do get the PP-19 right there, so it proves my point about that being the reason why we're playing this game mode. But Conquest is a good game mode, and opera, honestly, Metro is probably my, uh, my favorite Conquest map. Grand Bazaar is not bad, but I prefer Metro. Now, Metro is just my favorite, one of my favorite maps overall, and I kind of prefer this map over uh, the average map anyway, so. Um, <laughs> and as you can see right now, we're already getting pushed back slowly. It's a very it's, it's a very slow and steady retreat type deal here, but nonetheless, we're getting pushed back. Uh, put, I was going to say pushed back. It's not, that's not proper English, but we are getting pushed back. But um, uh, that's one of the problems when you have a, a semi-unexperienced team or you're only playing with one other squad mate. Is it's kind of hard to be uh, semi communicative and or like be productive when moving up or doing whatever you want to do. As to where now we're trying to make the push back forward again because, uh, in all honesty, you really want to if you're gonna be fighting inside the the subway area, you want to be able to control these this, these buildings here and just worry about this and not have to worry about anything else because these buildings are the main choke points. Uh, the subway is the main choke point. Once the American has this entire subway and B flag under their control. They're just gonna wreck you um, at your A flag, at the A flag outside. Um, there's just no way you're not you're gonna be able to to hold off and and win or even do anything. It's just it's just theoretically impossible. There's no way you you can do it. And if you can do it, well, let me know because I would really love to see that happen. And what are you doing walking through the door, Corey? And I don't know why I didn't see that. Well, I did see that guy, but I don't know why I didn't kill him. But uh, this this could be so called away the like the alley of death on this map, you know, kind of like the Grand Bazaar alley of death. But on this map, obviously this map, and we get killed by the USAS guy sitting in the corner. But um, I don't know, the USAS really, in my opinion, is really not like that overpowered. Um, I honestly like the like if I'm not using the USAS, I think the the pump action A seven eight A seven hundred. That's probably the other. They're like the second, my favorite shotgun. I don't know why. It just feels like it's it's so much better than any of the se uh, other semi-automatic ones. You know, if you're not using USAS, use that one, and that's kind of um, you know, that's just kind of how it goes. But um, with this being the last battlefield video, 
search and destroy we'll be making the switch a lot of tactical join my elite clan type videos um you know what i mean uh i really want to you know have fun with that and do go somewhere decently uh big there and have i just want it's, just, it's all about having fun we've, we've said this before even battlefield's about having fun i mean getting stuck in this corner here really gets your rage on it like really induces your rage when you're sitting in this corner and look at these people just getting mowed down like left and right it's so rage inducing this corner i tell you what but then it's easy it's, it's very good for revive points and heal points though so if you need to rank up the meta class conquest on uh metro with uh with the russians is a lot of fun you know easy way to rack up points but smoke screen right there. I don't know if that guy was using a shotgun, but he did end up getting a suppression assist. And then you've got the smoke that just detonates out of nowhere. It completely blinds me. This guy is rushing me through the smoke. Oh, we did have a shotgun. Fancy that. But uh, I'm using the famous red dot touch silencer, probably a four grip. Um, I I think, in my, all honesty, lately I find um, the famous and F2000, in my opinion, are like or very similar if not the exact same weapon in my opinion i really don't see much of a difference between them i don't know how he got there but he did somehow knife me don't question it but uh that 2000 and are probably two of the most similar guns in the game uh you know just i don't know why they just just because like of how they handle uh like ammo wise recoil -wise. right there was a spawn in at the b flag and you spawn right in the action obviously since there somehow all around the b-flag even though we have it captured somehow uh... i feel like the g18 with the suppressor deals heavier re more heavy recoil then i don't know how i didn't kill that guy with the grenade but i like how we're just kinda just kinda guzzle the ammo you know no no big deal here you know just guzzle your ammo kill him come on reload around the pole get him oh there you go there you go take out that squad eliminate their abilities to work as a squad i don't even know but um, the next Battlefield video, I have one more gameplay. It's gonna be a dual com with with uh, my friend uh, discussing helicopter tactics. That'll probably wrap up that thing. But um, until then, a lot of the Call of Duty. You know, occasionally maybe we'll get back into Battlefield. I don't know, but like I said, Call of Duty is a lot of fun now. So why would I bother going back to Battlefield? You know, why would I? Like I played Battlefield a lot, and then Battlefield kind of got boring. We kind of got caught in its peak and stuff, and it's all. Uh, I don't know, it's a mess. And right here we're making the push up again, but the push is obviously too late of a push, being as the game is already over. My, that is my final death. That is the end of the game. Uh, sadly, we lost, but that was, that's what happens when you're on Russian spawn and on Metro Conquest. So, final score was 43 and 16. But, like I said, I like to keep full games. Remember to watch the outro, as always, because of how amazing it is. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see everyone uh, tomorrow in the next uh, video. So have a great day. What do you want from me, man? Let's go, man. Shoot me. No, I'm not Come on, man. shoot me, motherfucker. Let's go. Shoot me, motherfucker. Come on!